Disculpen que tenemos algunas fallas técnicas. Hello, Veronica. Oh, sorry, I wasn't sure if I was my turn. <laughs> I apologize. Hi, guys. Sorry, I was just waiting. I was like, what's happening? Okay. Sorry, I was switching rooms because I think my Zoom will be used in like half an hour from another teacher. So I wanted to change. Uh, sorry, I was like, what's happening? <laughs> Hi, everyone. I apologize for that weird start. Um, my name is Veronica. <laughs> Very nice to see you guys. Uh, my name is Veronica. I'm a teacher here at Canaway. Oh, how long? I have been, I think, two years, I think, almost. Two, uh, almost two years I've been teaching here. Uh, I also do course development and I teach ESL. Um, and I teach ESL here. I teach IELTS as well. So I do a lot of IELTS focus. So if you're um, preparing on doing the IELTS exam, uh, we have some wonderful classes here at Canaway as well. Um, so I, I cover those classes too. So we prepare you for the IELTS test. And um, I also um, teach the business courses as well. If you're interested in English, business English, I also teach those as well as kids. I don't think there's kids here right now. <laughs> and I also teach the kids class. So quite a lot. All right, um, I am from Ottawa, Canada. It's the capital, um, but I currently live in near the West Coast. I'm in Calgary, if you know that city. So I live out here now. Um, and yeah, I've been teaching English though for ooh, like eight years, seven years, eight years. So quite a long time, um, but I'm really enjoying my time here. It's wonderful to see uh, so many, uh, so many people here joining us today interested in studying their English and in improving their English skills. I love to see that. Uh, it opens up many, many doors. So that's always wonderful. Okay, so we are going to um, take a look at uh, a class today just to get, so you guys can see a little bit of how it, our, our English is like and how our classes are like and I'm very excited to show you a bit. So just a little bit about my classes. Um, I don't speak Spanish in the classroom. Uh, I think it's a really it's actually proven to be a really good way to improve your fluency because if you jump and speak Spanish to me. If you don't know a word, your brain will just think in Spanish whenever you don't understand. But if you are forced to speak English and try to figure out how to explain yourself, your fluency will improve so quick. That's why people who live in English speaking countries learn English so fast because they have no choice. So we like to focus on English only. If you need me to speak more slow or you don't understand and need me to repeat or you have any question, of course, I can help you. So please let me know. I can repeat, explain another way or slow down. I happily can do that, but just know Spanish when possible, especially for the level we're looking at today, which is uh, intermediate. So we're going to jump in. Um, our classes here are quite uh, interactive and engaging. So everyone, um, if you have any questions, put up your hand. If you want to speak, go ahead. Uh, I really like when everyone is interactive in our class. That's how our classes at Canaway are built. So everyone can join in and talk with each other and uh, answer questions, anything you want. 
Um, we also do a lot of activities in breakout rooms, so you have time to speak in English. We won't do that today in our demo class, but in normal classes, we do that quite a lot. There's also an option to draw on the screen. Uh, you have a button called annotation. So if everyone can figure out where their pencil button is, you can draw on the screen. Not all the time, but <laughs> when I need you to or ask you to, uh, that way we can also be interactive. This is not a lecture. I don't want you to sit there in silence and watch me. It's a fun, engaging class. So please speak up whenever you would like. Okay, so for today's class, we're gonna look at the intermediate level. Uh, so that's the level of this class today. And our topic is going to be pets and it's conversational. So for our ESL classes, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we have different units and different lessons in each unit. So each unit consists of four lessons. The first lesson is always conversational. So that means it's vocabulary. So we learn a lot of words uh, and make sure we can use them. We have, and we of course have a lot of discussion and lots of speaking time. So discussion questions, debates, breakout room activities, games, a lot of time to practice your speaking. Today, we will focus on the speaking part more than the vocabulary, uh, but we have a lot of time in our normal classes to do vocabulary and speaking because they're an hour and a half usually. Today, just, uh, just under an hour. Um, our second lesson is always grammar. Some people like it. Some people don't, <laughs> but grammar is really important. So our second lesson is always grammar focused, which is even though grammar is not super awesome and fun, it is really important. And we do try to incorporate it into our topic of the week. Uh, and our third lesson is academic based. So that means that we do, we use our vocabulary and grammar from the unit and use it to do writing, we make paragraphs, we build sentences and some discussion as well. And finally, our fourth lesson is a review of that unit. And there's usually a Kahoot quiz as well, just to make it fun. And that's your time to make sure you understand everything and to ask any questions. So today we will do lesson one, our conversational class and everyone will have a topic. Today it is pets. I love pets. I ha I've have had so many pets in my life. Okay, so we're going, we are going to learn a few words about pets and we're going to focus on lots of discussion and activities today about pets. All right, so this is just a demo class, so you don't have to worry about a quiz or taking notes, but it's usually recommended in our classes to take notes of anything new you learn. So you're ready for your assignments and any quiz we have. Okay, so just a fun warm up activity. Can you match these pets with these owners? They're famous owners. So you guys can go ahead and draw on the screen. You should have an annotation option. And if you think you know the answer, just go ahead and draw a line from the owner to the pet. See if you can guess who has which animal. I wonder who has the pig. All right, guys, so you can go ahead and draw on the screen. You should all make sure it's enabled. Yeah, it's enabled. So you guys can go ahead and draw if you think. Good, Paula, say, yeah, everyone figure it out. Good job, Paula. <laughs> Queen has that dog, okay. Okay, different dog. George Clooney is a pig, okay. All right, Taylor, I feel like Taylor Swift has a cat. I feel like she would have a cat. Okay, good. Any last guesses? That's it? 
All right, good work guys, let's see. All right, so I think most of you got that right. Yes, yeah, so uh, President Obama had a dog. I think every president in the States had a dog at some point. Yeah, the queen is famous for her corgis. This is called a corgi. I think she loves them. Yeah, George Clooney has a pig and yeah, Taylor Swift and her cats. Very good, well done. Okay, so guys, let's talk about pets. Um, so this is our time to ask questions if anyone wants to practice uh, starting conversations and asking each other questions, but also please share. Does anyone here have a pet? If you would like to answer, um, please put up your hand. There is a hand button option where you can raise your hand and that way I know who wants to talk. So anyone want to share? I don't have a pet. I hate that I don't, but um, I travel a lot, so it's difficult. But I have had every pet possible. I've had dogs, cats, birds, hamsters. I've had rats. I've had ferrets. I've had um, different types of birds. I had rabbit. I had chickens. I had a pig. I've had every a horse, I've had every animal, literally every animal you can imagine. <laughs> um, has anyone else ever had a pet or has a pet now? Teresa, Emma, Carrie, Jose, Maria, Paula, Yasmin, Marcos, Felix. Okay, uh, yes, Felix, do you wanna answer? Yeah, I, I do have a pet. Actually, I've got a dog. Um, oh, nice. Toby, it's a uh, schnauzer. Oh, cute. Oh, how lovely. Very good. That's really cute. Um, okay, Jenny. Yeah, well, I have a uh, cat. Oh, uh, nice. Coco is the name. And oh, Coco have, is cute. Yes, I have uh, this cat uh, since the last year, maybe one year ago. Oh, that's really nice. How lovely. Also, it's kind of new a little bit still. <laughs> All right, Mary Ori. Yeah, I have a dog. Uh, it is a bulldog English. Oh, English bulldog, cute. Uh, yeah, it's bulldog English. Uh, his name is Berlin. Oh, nice. Uh, he's uh, two years old. Oh, cute. <laughs> oh, how lovely. Yes. Very cute. Oh, I like bulldogs. They're really nice. Uh, oh, and Jose just wrote in the chat box that he has a turtle. I love turtles. That's cool. They're so smart. That's really nice. Uh, Teresa, go ahead. Yes, um, right now I don't have a pet, but I had a pigeon. I had a fish, two hamsters, a kitty, and two dogs. Oh, wow. When I was so younger. Wow. You have had a lot of pets. That's nice. Uh, thank you for sharing. And Paula. I have had uh, so many dogs, but they some of them pass away. Mm -hmm. And now I have. Uh, four dogs back four. home four. my home yeah oh wow that's amazing that's a lot of dogs mm -hmm. that's cool that must be a very loud house yeah but happy house <laughs> mm -hmm. how nice um good thanks for sharing as well and yes man oh. where'd you go uh yes man would you like to speak? I don't know if I can hear you. Okay, we were having some connection issues. If you want to write in the chat box at any point, guys, you can do that as well. Okay, great. Thanks everyone for sharing. Let's do an open discussion now and talk about advantages or benefits and disadvantages or drawbacks of having these different common pets. Um, okay, let's start with dogs. 
So can anyone think of some good things about having a dog? Like, I think they're, they're very loyal. That's one, like they'll be your best friend for sure. Can anyone think of any other benefits to having a dog? Other benefits? Uh, Paula? Uh, they give us so much love mm -hmm. and also they protect the house. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Protect the house, protect the kids. That's true. Okay, what are some uh, disadvantages to having a dog? Can anyone think of any? Teresa. Uh, I think I don't like when there is a dog at home. Okay. The house smells really weird. Okay, they can be If you clean all day, the dogs smell weird. That's fair. Yeah, they can leave hair and stuff like that. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, yeah, anyone else? Any other? Um, Paula, your, your hand's still up. Do you have another comment? Oh, no, sorry. Okay. Oh, Paula? Oh, no, okay. <laughs> um, I was gonna say expensive. Like we, um, oh, in Canada, it's not cheap. Sometimes the vet, it's like, uh, could be expensive if they get hurt or um, sick and you have to bring them to the doctor. Um, it can get a little pricey for dogs, which is uh, too bad. Emma says you need to have time to go out with them. Yeah, they, it's a big responsibility, like walks. My, my old dog was like four times a day. Like we had to go out for a walk. It's uh, like a second job, <laughs> but it's good too. Okay. Cats, I like cats too. What are some good things about having a cat? Any ideas? They're like easy. <laughs> they don't need attention as much. Okay, yes, uh, Jenny. Uh, well, uh, maybe the cats uh, can be more independent that than the dogs maybe yeah. they leave and they can stay alone uh, yeah uh, all day so this is some advantage absolutely they're super independent that's true good uh mariori uh i think uh, they are more clean like the dog yeah but uh it's a different disadvantage i think this uh how do you say the pelo pelo eh, cabello eh, cabello la, el pelo of the cat like the hair yes uh -huh. or you the fur mm -hmm. is uh, is too bad for for people or for children mm, allergy Yes. Yeah. Yeah. My, my fiance is allergic, so we can't have one, but it, it's a lot easier. So I'm sad that we can't have a cat. I agree. Um, good. So a lot of good things and bad things about cats. So clean, independent, but allergy. Um, that's true. Any other n disadvantages to having a cat? Uh, Maybe uh, they are not uh, necessary uh, to go to the walk with, the, with their, because they are uh, only uh, just independent. But the dog, you have to always uh, one minute to go to the walk, to a park, no? Mm -hmm. For the dogs. Yes, absolutely, totally. Uh, Emma. They sometimes scratch him. Um, yeah, they scratch you. Yeah, they can be yeah. mean. <laughs> My cat was a little mean sometimes. He's like, pet me, pet me. Okay, I'm done. I'm just, uh, good. Kristen said, oh, um, 
Yeah, Kristen, Kristen said cats are easier to carry with you on a plane. Yes, that's true. And they're quiet, Montserrat, Christian disadvantage. It could be the cats are more solitary. Yeah, they're not as fun as a dog. That's a good point. Okay, birds. I like, I'm a fan of birds as a pet. They're so smart. Well, there's an advantage. Uh, they're very smart. Um, really, really like clever. Any other advantage to birds? Like they're really clever. My bird knew some tricks and he learned lots of speaking. They say, oh, you're home. Hello. Like, it's amazing. <laughs> no other good thing. Anyone ever have a bird? No birds? They sing, which is really cute because they like sing in the day. Um, some birds can talk. Yes, Emma, exactly. Um, that's like, it's really cool. They can, they're very smart. Uh, what are some disadvantages to birds? Can anyone tell me any negatives? I think the birds is more delicate. Delicate. They care too much, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. They're a little bit delicate, that's true. Okay, very good. Um, all right, let's move on to fish. What are some advantages of having fish? Maybe. <laughs> yes, uh, go ahead, Jenny. Uh, maybe uh, they are very easy to care. Yeah, super easy to take care of. Absolutely. And they're um, pretty cheap. Yes. They're pretty cheap. Uh, not like very expensive to take care of like other pets. And they're beautiful. Like they're really pretty, I think. Um, excellent. Any, okay, any disadvantages to fish? Paula. Uh, I think that you don't interact interact uh, mm -hmm. much with the fish. Yeah, uh, you don't really have a connection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's true. There's no loyalty or friendship. <laughs> that's oh, a good point. Yeah, no as had dog. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Paula. Good, Nicholas. expensive because all the supplies all the mm. yeah them mm. caught that yes very good yeah their cage like even the fish are expensive I remember seeing some fish that were like $10,000 for one fish. Like, why? <laughs> like, what is that fish made of? Um, good point. Mary Ori? Uh, the fish is uh, easy to live. Mm, yeah. Fish. Yeah, that's true. Good. Excellent, guys. Oh, and please correct me if I'm saying your name incorrectly, okay? Uh, please tell me. All right, everyone, rodents. I had rats and ferrets, and uh, they were the best pets. Everyone's like, ew, mice, ew, but they're so good. They're so smart um, and so fun. Like, they're really playful. Can anyone think of any good or bad things about rodents? Rats, mice, hamster, uh, ferrets. I think that's called like a, oh, I don't even know what that is. That's a rat, that's hamsters here. It's like a chinchilla, I think, chinchilla. Can, has anyone ever had one? Can you think of any good or bad things about it? Um, in my case, in my uh, my uh, cousin have a rabbit. 
and uh, he's uh, living in my, my, my house. In, in my house, but I, um, for me, I don't like too much. Mm. <laughs> yeah, some people think they're a little scary or something. That's fair. Yes, fair. A little bit, yeah. Uh, okay, good. And any other thoughts? Like Jose says he has a turtle. Can you guys think of any good or bad things about a turtle? But they live to be very old, don't they? Turtle? turtle? Yeah, turtle. But yeah, this guy here. Yes. Uh, turtle, but I, I never have a turtle, but in my family, uh, yes, my uncle. Have a turtle. Uh, it, it has um, ten years. Ten years. Oh, the turtle oh, wow. is more along along vida uh, uh, along. Uh, how do you say? Bastante larga vida. Like it, it lives for a very long time. Uh -huh. Very long time. Uh -huh. Yeah, yes. like a hundred years, I think sometimes, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they can live for like a very, very long time. Um, but which is cool, but yeah, it would be like, it, it would be difficult. <laughs> okay, um, good. They are small. They have a long life. Very good, Jose. Excellent. All right, guys. Fantastic. Good job. Oh, oops. That's it. Okay. Very good. So we're going to actually uh, play a game. This is about animals that you can and can't have as pets in Canada. So there are some animals that you just, um, you are not allowed to have in a house. Fair enough. <laughs> um, and some that are surprising that you can. So we're going to watch a quick video now. I'm going to share that or not, sorry, not a video. We're going to play a game, a video game thing. And see if you guys can guess um, which animals you can and can't have in the house. Right, let me just set this up here. All right. So you guys just shout it out uh, or sorry, raise your hand if you want to make a guess here. So which of these animals can you have as pets in Canada? Anyone want to tell me what or write it in the chat box if you'd like? Like, can you have a goose? Can you have, okay, a, okay, a fennec fox? What is that? You say fox, okay, Jose. Any others? Uh, yes, go ahead, uh, Jenny. Maybe sugar glider. Sugar glider. Those are super cute. Excellent. And someone said a Canadian goose. All right, Paula. A pot belly pig. Pot belly pig. Cute. Oh, uh, he he has seen Marco. How do you, I don't know how the pronunciation. Uh, yeah, we just say a macaw. 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 Yeah, very good. Yeah, those are cool. Any last guesses? Oh, we have a message. A mini donkey, a hedgehog. Yeah, okay. All right, let's find out. Oh, I think, sorry, we're gonna guess the nose first and then we'll find out, sorry. <laughs> okay, which animals you can't have as pets in Canada? Uh, Paula, do you wanna make a guess? The hand up, oh, leopards. Alli alligator, sorry. Alligator, <laughs> good. So a leopard was said in the chat, All where's that? oh, there's alligator. Yeah, that makes sense, I think. Hyenas. Um, Maria. Uh, elephant. 
elephant. I don't even know if you can get one in Canada. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Casa worries. Yeah, I don't even, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen one of those ever. Kind of cool. Any other guesses? You cannot have a fennec fox. Okay, you think you cannot have a fox, okay. That's it. All right. Kangaroo. Kangaroo, probably. Okay, now we'll find out. Okay, so you can you can have all of these actually in Canada, technically. Yeah, pot belly pig, capybara. I think those are Australian, so I don't know how you would get them here. Yeah, macaws for sure, <coughs> glider, hedgehog, fox, uh, pygmy goat, those are cute, and mini donkey. Yeah, you cannot actually have these guys only. You can't have a Canadian goose. <laughs> um, they are actually, if you come to Canada, they are really mean. <laughs> like everyone's like, oh, a Canadian goose, they're so cool. No, they're like, they'll like, it's so, they're really, really mean. Like they're, um, it's really funny. Like everyone is always like, oh, I'm scared to come to Canada because of bears or wolves. I'm like, no, it's the geese. <laughs> the geese will like attack you if you get too close. It's, they're, it's funny. They're actually not. I saw squirrels too in the parks in Toronto. Yeah, squirrels are everywhere. That's true. Absolutely. Yeah, so if you see these guys in Canada, just stay at bar. <laughs> They'll be like, it's like really funny. No one ever expects it. All right. And these are the ones in the no pets list. I think that makes sense. Hyenas, geese, kangaroo, elephant, leopards, primates, alligators, obviously. Cassowaries. I don't even think I've ever seen one. Looks like a turkey. Yeah. Okay. There you go, guys. Very good guessing. Well done. Okay. Uh, let's go back. There we go. All right. So let's see about here about uh, your country. Can you guys think of any unique animals, not a dog or a cat or a hamster? Those are obvious. What are some unique animals that some people can have? Like a cool bird or a rat or something. Can you think of any from your country? Like, can you guys have snakes or lizards? Teresa. Uh, yes, I have a cousin who has a snake. What, do you know if it's like a big one or what kind of snake? No, it, it's not. It's not that big. It's like a meter, maybe. Okay, but that's still pretty big. Mm, yeah. I feel like that's big too. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> no. And yeah. You can have a chicken also. Oh, you can have a chicken. Okay. Oh, a chicken. Okay, that's cool. Kind of cool. <laughs> Very good. Um, excellent. Anyone else? Uh, we can have um, a hamster. Uh huh. Dogs. Cats. Yeah, okay, so yeah, standard kind of cool, very nice. Nadieska. Maybe a rabbit. Rabbits, okay, you can have rabbits. Nice, very cool. Uh, Maria? Um, I, I, I can have dog. A dog, yeah, dog. for sure. Dog. Uh, uh, sorry, say that again in English. Duck, duck. Oh, a duck. Oh, sorry, a duck. Oh, that's cool. You can have a duck. Oh, that's interesting. That's very fun. Um, excellent. Okay, what about can't have, guys? Ah, uh, Maria. Sorry, go, go ahead, Maria. Oh, no, Dad. Okay. 
Um, Emma. We can have lions. Oh, you can have a lion? Oh, you uh -huh. can't have a lion. We oh, <laughs> okay. I thought you said can. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, for sure. No lions. Uh, good. Um, Jenny. What can you not have? Uh, Jenny? Uh, yes, if if you live in the country, you uh -huh. can have uh, maybe a tiger or leopard. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Very good. Um, Paula? Uh, we can have um, puma. Puma, mm -hmm. those, those cats. Yeah. We can have that, and also we can have a um, I always fox. A fox, yeah. Uh, and wolf also. And a wolf, cool, yeah. That yeah. makes sense. That's it. <laughs> Good. Nadieska. Uh, yes, in the jungle of my country, some people uh, have tigers. They are not allowed to have tigers, but they have it we can't but they do <laughs> that's insane <laughs> it's because it's like cool i guess i don't know that's nuts wow um okay emma oh you can't have a rhino you just said that in the chat okay yeah that makes anything like those big scary ones um maria um, I I can have our pig and horse. Mm, okay, unless you're like on a farm, that's probably difficult. Yeah, good. Uh, Paula, did you have anything else? No, sorry, I forgot. Oh, no worries, <laughs> just checking. <laughs> okay, so tell me guys about a bit about your, if you have a pet or have had a pet, Tell me about your pet. Does it get along with other species? Uh, is your pet social with people or with other animals? Or is the pet territorial? I always found that my dogs and cats were always really good friends. Everyone always pretends that dogs and cats hate each other, but like they always liked each other when I had them. And my dogs always loved people. Anyone else have any, want to answer any questions about their pet? Paula. Uh, yes, my pets are friends with the people, mm -hmm. but maybe they are territorial. They are not so friendly with other dogs from mm -hmm. the, my neighbor the dogs. They always are barking, barking. Barking. Yeah, barking. Um, so I think that they are territorial. Mm, yeah, that's fair. Some dogs can be a little bit territorial from other dogs. That's true. Good. Okay, anyone else? Especially if you have two pets. I would love to hear if they're friends or uh, like how they are together, their relationship. Jasmine. I have a, a puppy. Okay. It's four months. Oh, Just nice. Four months. So he wants to bite everything. Oh, <laughs> really? Yes, it's, it's really uh, difficult. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's just like, it's hard to train puppies. Uh -huh. And uh, it's a uh, play play player uh, he wants play with the other dogs oh really mm -hmm. okay very good excellent <laughs> uh thanks for answering any last uh questions anyone wants to answer okay. All right, so 
Another quick question here. Which pets are the easiest to train? So smartest, easiest to train. What do you guys think? I, I think dogs. Does anyone have another opinion? Paula? I think that the, the dogs are the easiest to train. Mm -hmm. uh, in my case, oh, yeah, in my case is in my dogs, uh, I can't train them, but I'm, now I'm, I'm here in Canada and I, I see that in Canada, so many dogs are really uh, training and educate. Oh, okay. So you see them, they're very smart. Yeah. Nice, that's good. Thank you, uh, Jenny. Mm, the dogs are easier to train, mm -hmm. but even I saw a TV program where some guy, some girls uh, train uh, some cats. Oh yeah. So it's really interesting, yes. That's cool, that's really interesting. I remember he reading somewhere that cats do like understand words like dogs um, and they can learn tricks. They, ju they just don't care. <laughs> like a dog wants you to be happy, but a cat will just like ignore you. <laughs> so makes sense. <laughs> cats are like, nah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> so it's probably personality, I think. That's really cool. Okay, do you know any working pets and what do they do? So can you guys think of any animals that do jobs, um, have some kind of important role that they play? And what do they do? There's a few here. I mean, police are very common. We have police dogs. Can you think of any others? Emma. Some dogs are used for security. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Any others? Yes, uh, Jenny. Um, rescue dogs when there is some catastrophe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, this. like search and rescue. Find people. Absolutely. It's pretty amazing that they're so good at that. Uh, thank you, Teresa. Sorry, uh, I wanted to say the thing that she said before. Oh. <laughs> Rescue dogs? <laughs> yes, it's like when, I don't know how to say that, but it's when the earth is shaking and all the walls and the construction, the building are like earthquakes collapse it and they have to find the people that it's under the walls yeah yeah that's true it's amazing they can smell so well yeah nicholas hello yes go ahead yes yeah, sorry my name is natalie sorry <laughs> oh natalie sorry <laughs> yes no i i heard i heard about the horses uh -huh. They do some um, special persons. Oh, really? Horse? For therapy? Oh. Oh, wow. That's really interesting. Horses are pretty smart, too, aren't they? Very good. Uh, uh, someone wrote the Erles, uh, the police dog that works in the airports, identify drugs. Yes, they can smell. I always get nervous when I'm in the airport. Like I know I don't have anything in my suitcase, but the dogs come. I'm like, what if someone put something in my bag? <laughs> I always get so nervous. I'm like, what if I accidentally put a gun in there? I'm like, no, that's stupid, Veronica. But I, <laughs> I'm like always nervous when I'm in the airport. Um. Good, okay guys. So we have one last activity today and then we're finished. Um, again, I know that felt a little bit fast and rushed. Um, we usually have an hour and a half of classes. So we have more time to practice vocabulary and um, do more talking, uh, but this is a little shorter today. 
So I'm going to um, open that up here. All right, so I'm not sure if anyone has done Kahoot before. It's super easy and super fun. Uh, all you need is a phone. Okay, so if you guys have a phone with you, oops, I need to do that. <laughs> Just if you have a phone with you, um, you go on to, I'll show you, it's, you don't need to download an app or anything. Uh, just go to kahoot.it right here. And then as soon as you um, get on to Kahoot, you can enter this number. The 363-8484. Just enter that and you're part of the game. And you'll see how you play. It's just a multiple choice contest. So guys, please, there's Sally Perfect. Please tell me if you have any problems getting on or if you need a bit more time. Uh, and I will wait, but I'll give everyone a couple of minutes to do that. Good. Very good. It's super fun. And we um, we use this a lot at Countaway. It's a really fun, uh, fun app. I'll give everyone another minute. Okay, how's that? Okay, we're all done. Hey okay, guys, please let me know if you need another minute. Everyone's okay? Okay, we're gonna start. Then um, everyone's finished. Okay, let's go. You can just take questions. Always oh, starts with an easy one. <laughs> How are you feeling? This one, this is always the first question at Canaway. It's just a fun one just to start. There's no wrong answer, by the way. Mm. Okay, good. All right. Now, Dieska was fastest. Okay, now the real questions start. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Fill in the blank. That's new mother. Let's try your best. I know that we didn't really look at vocabulary today so much. So just try your best here. Uh, to sustain. So in case you're not sure, sustain means to care for and keep well. And because we have two, we know that the verb here is going to be an infinitive. So that means like to do, to pl play, to study. So to sustain. You would never have two in front of an ED, a past tense. You would just have the past tense. Quick little lesson there. Okay. All right. So cats don't like swimming, but dogs do.
Unlike, yes, like is also grammatically fine, but they don't like swimming. So it's unlike. Un is a prefix that means a negative, so no. Um, likely and unlikely are actually adverbs with ly. That's a little trick to know. An adverb describes an action, like they are unlikely swimming, for example. But like and unlike are treated like an adjective in this case. Boy, Amaji. Okay, good job. We have a new first placer so far. How can I do to participate? I can. Um, do you have a phone? Yes, a phone. Okay, okay, so go to um kahoot.it and all you have to do is put in this password. Okay, I just sent it in the chat box. Oh, okay. okay. Feathered, very good. It's a hard one. Uh, this is just pronunciation, but it's feathered, actually, um, not feathered. So it's actually with a th. That's just spelling pronunciation. So good work. Oh, good job. Oh, see how well we remember. Happy Vera, good memory. Well done. That was like that big mouse looking animal. My baby mouth, and she's very good at singing. Small, feathered, good at singing. Good, a bird, good one, easy, excellent. Well done, everyone. Okay, oh, almost the last one. See if we remember, not allowed. Good, a kangaroo. Good memory. Yeah, those you cannot. Only Australia. <laughs> okay, last one. Shall can wait on life. He takes time to walk. A turtle. Yeah, turtle has a shell and lives very, very long. Oh, snail, close. But yeah, oh, that's kind of right, but I don't think a snail lives that long. Okay, let's see how we did. Montserrat, well done. Nadieska, seven out of eight. No. <laughs> Very good, Natty. Well done. <laughs> Excellent, guys. Very good work. All right, everybody. Well, I do have to finish up with our class today because I actually have to go teach now. 
Um, but it was uh, lovely to get to meet you. I hope I see you again in some future classes. Uh, I would also love it if you guys can turn on your camera um, so we can all say bye and I think uh, get a quick photo of everyone saying hello. So if you're not too shy <laughs> or you can just do this, that's okay. All right, great. Well, it's it was lovely to meet you guys. Um, oh, hello. And well done today. Your speaking was quite good. I think you are well ready for intermediate level so I don't think it's any problem. Um, yeah, so uh, we'll continue on with the virtual class um, for any or open house. If you have any questions, uh, our lovely host will help you out with that. Um, but it was nice to meet you all. And yeah, keep up your studies and I hope to see you soon. You all have a, oh, hi, Nadieska. <laughs> I do know you though. Have a wonderful uh, rest of your day, everyone. It was nice to meet you. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you. Hi, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank, thank you, you Veronica. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Bye-bye. Muchas gracias. Eh, ahora eh, quisiera comentarles brevemente acerca de el, nuestro programa. Permítanme. Una, una consultita, por favor. Este es un curso ejemplo conversacional, ¿verdad? No es un nivel de intermedio 6, 7, no, ¿verdad? Este es un nivel intermedio 3. Ah, intermedio 3. Es un, no, es una, sí. no es un curso con, de conversación. No, no es un curso de, de conversación. Es un curso de eh, nivel intermedio 3, más o menos. Ah, sí. ya, entiendo. Una consulta. Y, por ejemplo, si hay unas clases de prueba, o sea, para ver de curso de conversacional o no. Sí, claro que sí. Tenemos también un curso de conversación. Eh, los cursos de conversación los tenemos de nivel básico, intermedio y avanzado. Bien, y eh, previamente antes de iniciar el curso eh, pueden rendir un examen de ubicación y de acuerdo a los resultados ubicarse en el curso. En el curso de conversación eh, son, se pueden, son 12 meses, o sea, son las, los temas que se tratan en cada, en cada mes son distintos, no, no se repiten. Entonces, por ejemplo, si su nivel es un nivel intermedio, entonces puede llevar el curso de conversación todos los meses que, que usted guste y se van a tratar temas distintos cada mes. Ah, entiendo. ¿Y, ¿Y cómo puedo hacer para, o con quién coordinaría para poder entrar a una clase modelo de un curso conversacional? Claro, los, eh, culminando la, la presentación, voy a brindarles un, este, un código QR para que puedan eh, ingresar, acceder a un descuento que tenemos y también puedan acceder a obtener mayor información. Sí, van a ser eh, un asesor de Canaway se va a contactar para poder brindarles mayor información del programa y también puedan así ayudarlos a acceder a una clase de observación, porque contamos también con clases de, de observación para que puedan presenciar una clase, en ese caso de conversación. Ah, ya, gracias. A usted. Bien, permítame eh, comentarles. ¿Una consulta? Un... Sí. Yo también necesito una clase así, básica, empezar desde cero. ¿Cómo hago? No se preocupe. Al... Eh, les voy a, eh, vamos a, van a acceder al código QR, inscribirse y poder obtener mayor información. Y también les voy a compartir un enlace para que puedan inscribirse, para poder comunicarnos con cada uno y, y poder asesorarlos. Bien. Quería comentarles okay. ahora acerca sobre nuestro programa, eh, nuestro programa de inglés para jóvenes eh, y adultos, eh, que está dirigido a partir de los 15 años eh, a más. Bien, eh, nuestro programa está conformado por un total de 24 cursos, ¿no? los cuales inician desde el nivel de inducción. En el nivel de inducción contamos, son dos meses, bien de duración. Luego tenemos los niveles básicos, donde son, tenemos 10 niveles básicos que tienen una duración de 10 meses. El nivel intermedio, donde eh, son 8 niveles intermedio y tienen una duración de 8 meses. ¿no? Nuestro nivel avanzado con 4 meses de duración, con 4 eh, niveles. Pero en nuestro programa de inglés de jóvenes y adultos, el nivel que se puede alcanzar al finalizar el programa es el nivel C1, según el marco común europeo de las lenguas. Bien, eh, 
las clases del programa son clases diarias, son clases que se dictan de lunes a viernes con una duración de una hora y treinta minutos por sesión de clase. Bien, eh, nuestros docentes son los docentes canadienses certificados. El, Van a los primeros niveles como son, por ejemplo, el nivel de inducción 1, inducción 2, el nivel básico 1 y básico 2, son docentes eh, bilingües, ¿no? Para poder asesorar de mejor manera a, lo, a nuestros alumnos que recién inician su aprendizaje en, en este idioma inglés. Bien. Luego, a partir del nivel básico 3 hacia adelante, los profesores son eh, canadienses. Bien, en el programa se incluyen los materiales, ¿no? eh, el certificado es digital, tenemos el examen de clasificación sin costo, que nos sirve, como les había comentado anteriormente, para poder saber en, desde qué nivel pueden iniciar el programa con nosotros. El grupo eh, de alumnos por clase es un promedio de, de 15 alumnos. Bien, el programa eh, tiene 30 horas de 30 horas de instrucción por, por cada nivel, que están divididas en 24 horas de clase en vivo con un docente en línea y son más de 6 horas de actividades a través de nuestra plataforma, que es nuestra plataforma Moodle. Eh, los alumnos, como le comentaba, deben rendir el, el examen de clasificación. Bien, o si eh, se da el caso que recién están iniciando su aprendizaje, no han llevado clases anteriormente, pueden iniciar desde cero con nosotros desde los cursos de inducción. ¿no? En ese caso iniciarían desde inducción 1. Bien, eh, ¿por qué eh, optar por nosotros por Canaway? ¿Por qué estudiar con Canaway? El, el inglés es online. Son clases online 100% en vivo, son clases en tiempo real con profesores nativos. Bien, eh, los profesores eh, son canadienses certificados, son certificados para la enseñanza del idioma inglés como lengua extranjera. Bien, son certificados a través de exámenes de reconocido prestigio. La metodología es una metodología 100% inmersiva. ¿no? El alumno eh, se verá inmerso en un inglés nativo. Eh, donde el profesor entrenará ¿no? lo que son las expresiones orales, la habilidad de escucha, además en, en contexto de situaciones cotidianas, ¿no? como lo hemos podido ver también en, en, en la clase. ¿no? Además, eh, podrán tener interacción con alumnos de distintos países, ¿no? los compañeros de clase se conectan de diferentes países y se tiene la oportunidad de intercambiar así experiencias ¿no? y conocer también eh, diferentes culturas. Bien, eh, la certificación, el certificado se entrega eh, al culminar cada nivel, por cada nivel se entrega un certificado, bien, el material de trabajo se puede ubicar a través de la plataforma Moodle, bien, tienen acceso también a lo que son las grabaciones de las clases para la retroalimentación, ¿no? Y poder repasar también lo que, los temas que se han podido ver durante las, durante las clases. Además de nuestro curso, nuestro programa de inglés para jóvenes y adultos, contamos también con un curso de preparación para el examen IELTS. Bien, eh, este curso tiene una duración de tres meses, es impartido por, por docentes con experiencia, preparando alumnos para rendir el, el examen IELTS. Muchos de nuestros docentes han sido o son actualmente examinadores de, de IELTS. Eh, y el, el programa está diseñado para estudiantes que ya cuentan con un nivel de, in, de inglés, ¿no? de un nivel intermedio a, a avanzado. Bien, este curso básicamente los ayudará a prepararse para el, para el examen IELTS. Bien, el curso, las clases en ese curso son diarias, de lunes a viernes, por una hora y 30 minutos por, por sesión. El curso tiene un contenido de 12 unidades en total. Bien, eh, se realizan también simulacros. ¿No? Cada unidad consta de, de cuatro le lecciones y cada unidad termina con, con un examen. ¿no? Igual antes de iniciar este curso de preparación también es importante rendir el examen de, de clasificación. Bien, eh, contamos además con nuestro curso de conversación, los cuales nos realizaron también eh, las consultas al inicio. El curso de conversación ayuda a, a desarrollar ¿no? y a mejorar las habilidades comunicativas y también así poder adquirir mayor fluidez. ¿no? Participando, por ejemplo, en discusiones en línea, eh, reciben ret retroalimentación durante el curso eh, y como les había comentado, los temas que se tratan son distintos mes a mes. 
Bien, ahora el curso de conversación, tenemos conversación básico, conversación intermedio y conversación eh, avanzado. Las clases en nuestro curso de conversación son de lunes a jueves por una hora y media por, por sesión de clase. Bien. Eh, las modalidades de pago en nuestro programa. Nuestro programa tiene un costo de 79 dólares, son 79 dólares americanos mensuales. Bien, tenemos eh, una promoción, por ejemplo, de 2 por 130 dólares, donde puede acceder, por ejemplo, a dos cursos, a dos meses de estudios, o puede aplicarse también para dos personas. Bien. Eh, tenemos el, la otra promoción de 4 por 250 dólares, donde puede acceder a cuatro cursos, ¿no? O eh, puede también servir para cuatro meses de, de estudio. Y esta promoción sí estaría aplicando para, para una sola persona. Bien. Eh, a todos los asistentes del día de hoy en, en el evento, en Open House, están contando con un 10% de descuento sobre los 79 dólares, que es el costo mensual. Bien, para poder acceder a este descuento, tendrían que inscribirse, ingresar al link que les voy a enviar, o también escanear el, el código QR que en, en unos minutos vamos a, a presentar. Eh, contamos también con otras promociones, como son nuestras membresías, nuestras membresías Canaway. Las membresías, eh, por ejemplo, tenemos las membresías de seis meses por 399 dólares, eh, la membresía de nueve meses de 499 dólares y la membresía de 12 meses de 599 dólares. Con esas membresías pueden llevar todos los cursos que ustedes gusten durante el tiempo. Eh, de membresía que han, que han escogido. ¿no? Por ejemplo, si eh, yo eh, tengo un nivel intermedio y me correspondería iniciar desde el nivel intermedio 2, puedo llevar el curso de intermedio 2 y a, eh, a la par puedo estar llevando mi curso de conversación nivel intermedio. Bien, y esos ambos cursos los puedo llevar, por ejemplo, adquiriendo una, una membresía. Bien. Una consulta eh, sobre sí. eso. Este, sí, ya. Este, cada, este, quisiera, por ejemplo, un horario que tengan modelos. O sea, ustedes cada hora a partir de, de qué día, o sea, de las 6, 7 de la mañana, a partir de qué hora son los cursos que abren y generalmente, si quisiera, por ejemplo, el paquete y quiero meterme un curso conversacional, es 24 horas, cuántas horas al día, más en las mañanas, más en la tarde, para más o menos tener una idea. Tenemos cursos eh, por la mañana, por la tarde y de noche. Por ejemplo, los cursos por la mañana pueden iniciar de, a partir de las siete y media de la mañana. Para nosotros poder brindarle las opciones de horario que tenemos disponibles, eh, tenemos que saber primero a, hacia qué curso eh, se estaría matriculando, ¿no? Entonces, eh, es importante que primero pueda rendir el examen y, por ejemplo, si tiene un, un nivel de un nivel básico, puede ingresar al curso de conversación básico y nosotros le brindamos todas las opciones de horarios que tenemos para que pueda escoger ¿no? el, el horario que, que necesita. Gracias. O sea, ¿alguna, ¿Tendrían alguna consulta más? Tal vez el... eh, sí, yo tengo una pregunta. En sí. esa membresía también uno puede tomar eh, al mismo tiempo, digamos, en un nivel intermedio, dependiendo de la clasificación del examen y el IELTS a la vez. Sí, claro que sí. El, la preparación para el IELTS. Sí, puede tomar la preparación desde la membresía de seis meses de 399 dólares. Usted puede llevar el curso de preparación IELTS y eh, en simultáneo puede llevar un curso de conversación. Sí se puede. Ok, gracias. Yo tengo otra pregunta. Sí. Eh, digamos, lo que hoy hicimos fue una clase como más teórica, la conversacional, o sea, son dos clases diferentes y yo tomo el curso, digamos, el curso conversacional o el curso, digamos, teórico. Claro, son dos cursos distintos. Son dos cursos distintos. Eh, la diferencia también es, por ejemplo, si lleva un curso de eh, SL, un curso eh, esencial, 
eh, se van avanzando por niveles. Si usted inicia, por ejemplo, del nivel intermedio 1, que dure un mes, lo aprueba avanzando a intermedio 2, a intermedio 3, y así sucesivamente, ¿no? Porque cada curso también tiene este, lo que son eh, evaluaciones, ¿no? Para poder ir avanzando en el programa. Eh, a diferencia del curso de conversación, que es netamente para poder practicar y adquirir fluidez, allí no se va avanzando de, de niveles. Por ello es que este curso puede ser repetido todos los meses que usted guste, pero eh, no es que va a ser lo mismo todos los meses porque los temas que se van a trabajar son distintos. Okay, gracias. Este. ¿Tendrían alguna otra consulta? Ay, sorry, perdón. ¿Hay algún sí. descuento para, digamos, para que entren dos personas? O solo, he visto que solo dice que aplica para una persona. Todos, todos los precios aplican solamente para una persona. Tenemos la promoción número 2, 2 por 130 dólares. Esto sí aplica para dos personas. No, pero pues a mí me, me interesa más la membresía para pues tener los dos, pues los dos cursos. Pero ah, eso solo okay. aplica, el valor solo aplica para una persona. Sí, es para una sola. Las membresías sí son personales, aplican para una sola persona. Ok. okay yes. Sí. Gracias. Hola, buenas noches. No sé si me buenas noches. Sí, 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 Mira, lo escucho. A mí me interesó el, el, el tema de la membresía, pero yo tengo un inglés... Eh, como básico intermedio, más que todo me falta, eh, de mi punto de vista, eh, me falta un poco de, sobre todo, la, lo que es el vocabulario y el tema de, de la conversación. Entonces, eh, si yo, eh, me interesaría mucho, ¿cierto?, el, el, la membresía de 12 meses. Durante esos 12 meses, eh, yo puedo optar por dos cursos por el mismo valor o por un curso me sale el valor de los 500 y tanto. Claro, los 599 dólares es por una membresía de 12 meses, ¿no? Usted durante los 12 meses puede llevar todos los cursos que usted guste durante ese tiempo. Entonces, ah, si usted sí. tiene, por ejemplo, un, a partir de un nivel básico 6 hacia adelante, usted ya puede llevar un curso de conversación e ir acompañando sus clases ¿no? con su curso de conversación. Entonces, en ese caso ya eh, hay un mayor ahorro porque no, el curso ya no le estaría costando 79 dólares mensuales, sino un monto mucho menor. Ahora, ¿qué ocurre si usted, por ejemplo, no tiene un nivel básico 6 ¿no? para poder acompañar sus clases con, con un curso de conversación? Su nivel es menor. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que puede hacer en, eso caso, en ese caso para aprovechar la membresía? Puede repasar llevando un curso de menor nivel por ejemplo, si usted es, se encuentra en el nivel básico 3 y adquiere una membresía, lleva su curso de básico 3 y a la par puede estar ingresando también a un curso, por ejemplo, de básico 2. ¿no? Ingresar a observar ese curso y así va repasando también lo, lo aprendido. ¿no? O puede ser un curso de menor, de menor eh, nivel. ¿no? Y ya Perfecto. cuando usted llega al nivel básico 6, ya puede acompañar sus clases con, con su curso de conversación. Sí, y mira, igual tengo una, eh, el, el gran problema que me he dado cuenta igual durante también, ¿cierto? Eh, que a mí me cuesta muchas veces es el tema del listen, sobre todo el tema de escuchar conversaciones, eh, eso eh, tengo un poco más de problema en aprendizaje, sobre todo en cuanto a escritura y, y, y lectura, eh, se me hace mucho más fácil, pero a lo que es el, el, el listening es un poco más complejo. No sé si hay algo que esté dedicado exclusiva también para eso o... O ya está dentro de eso, ya dentro del valor. O dentro de los cursos ya se contempla todo eso. Sí, dentro del curso eh, ya se contemplaría. Los docentes eh, siempre van a dar feedback a nuestros alumnos para poder incentivarlos e indicarles en qué punto necesitan reforzar y también poder ayudarlos a poder mejorar eh, esos aspectos. Sí. Ok, no me queda súper claro. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Eh, quiero sí, dígame eh, ¿en qué horario serían las clases? Eh, tenemos horarios diversos, tenemos horarios por las mañanas, por la tarde y por la noche eh, nuestros horarios son hora Perú 
Bien, nuestro último horario, si no me equivoco, inicia a las 9 de la noche. El primer horario, por ejemplo, inicia a partir de las 7 y media de, de la mañana. Nosotros eh, podemos... Es hora de Perú. Es hora Perú, sí. Yo, ¿Sabe qué diferencia horaria hay entre Canadá y, y Perú? Entre Canadá y Perú tenemos una hora de diferencia. Ah, ya. Sí. Ah, y sí. empieza a las nueve de la noche, el más tarde. El más tarde, sí, nueve y media de la noche es el inicio de nuestras calas el y, más tarde. Y dura una hora y media. Una hora y media, correcto. Ah, ya, súper. Sí. Bien, muy bien. Eh, les... Yo Oye, una consulta. Sí, sí, dígame. Si te inscribes en una hora X, eh, después te puedes cambiar de horario, si de, de, por dificultad no puedes seguir en ese, en ese horario que elegiste. Se puede realizar cambios de horario, sí, pero durante los primeros tres días de iniciado a las clases. Nuestras clases están iniciando el día 3 de octubre, entonces máximo hasta el día 6 de octubre podríamos estar realizando una, una modificación de, del horario de clase. O sea, tú de después en el mes completo vas a tener que cumplir con el horario que elegiste en realidad. Eh, sí, y luego el horario puede ser cambiado. Mira, para el siguiente mes me refiero. Ok, ya, yeah, gracias. Sí. Bien. Sí, creo que ya no tenemos más consultas. Les comparto aquí el el link de, eh, para que puedan inscribirse y puedan acceder a su descuento, bien, al descuento del 10%. Recuerden que este descuento estaría disponible para, eh, lo que so, para, el, para el curso de un mes, para el costo de un mes de 79 dólares. Bien. Les agradezco mucho su asistencia, su presencia en nuestro evento Virtual Open House. Bien, estaremos atentos de poder recibir sus consultas y los esperamos. Esperamos que se animen a matricularse con nosotros e iniciar clases este 3 de octubre. Muchas gracias. Buenas noches. Muchas gracias. gracias. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego. Muchas gracias. 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 Chao, chao. Gracias.